at too many facilities with long wait times and veterans denied care and folks cooking the books is outrageous. Obama made a pledge to the veterans. We are going to get to the bottom of these problems. We're going to fix what is wrong. Obama says the new steps he's taking include a recruiting team aimed at erasing shortages of nurses and doctors at VA facilities and better suicide prevention training for military and VA personnel. Craig Wyndham, NPR News. Even as the Pentagon is refusing to confirm surveillance flights over Syria have been authorized, private former intelligence officials say such flights could support further escalation, including a broad bombing campaign. Opinions vary over whether such action would significantly degrade Islamic militants. Pentagon spokesman Rear Admiral John Kirby will only say all possible avenues are being considered by the military. We're a planning organization here. We have to be prepared for all, all kinds of options. Um, and with respect to providing military options, uh, we're going to be ready to do that. There have been published reports quoting officials who say U.S. surveillance drones and spy planes have begun flying over Syria on the orders of President Obama. Again, reiterated the U.S. is considering actions in the wake of the killing of U.S. journalist James Foley by Islamist militants. New open-ended ceasefire between Israel and Hamas is now underway. The two sides announced today they've agreed to a truce after seven weeks of fighting. Those killed more than 2,200 people, the vast majority of Palestinians in Gaza. Stocks rose today, lifting the Standard & Poor's 500 index to its first ever close above the 2,000 mark. As NPR's John Itzi reports, it's the 30th record close for the S&P this year. It took 16 years for the S&P to move from the 1,000 mark to a close above 2,000. And in between, the index suffered some dramatic drops that took it back below 1,000. The first was in the year 2000, when the bubble in Internet stocks burst. The second came as the financial crisis hit, sending the index down to just 676 in March of 2009. There are investors who are concerned the market is developing another bubble, but it appears healthier today than it was when the Internet bubble burst 14 years ago. Then, the stocks in the index were trading at prices 23 times their earnings. Today, stocks are trading at about 15 and a half times earnings. John Itzti, NPR News, Washington. On Wall Street, the Dow was up 29 points to 17,106 today. You're listening to NPR News in Washington. This is Colorado Public Radio News. I'm Pat Lynn. The National Weather Service has issued a flash flood warning for parts of Larimer County near Fort Collins until 6.30 tonight. Heavy rain has been reported this afternoon. Meanwhile, flash flood watch is in effect for much of southeast Colorado and Colorado Springs. Dave Bargenbrook is a forecaster in Boulder. The main uh, threat that exists through the night is the locally heavy rainfall from uh, thunderstorms. So we're going to keep a close eye on that uh, for the next several hours. The rain could continue through Thursday.